Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your Oracle reading for this week. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this, Sag. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Sag with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Okay, Sag, cars. New love. Okay, so this can actually be a new love, or this could be a new uh, lease on life. This could be a new love for something that you brought into your life, a hobby or a creation. Um, a new baby. This also could be um, the start of um, starting up an old love and you know, turning it into new love. Let's see. Let's see. You can have a new lease on life because you left something behind or you changed something about yourself. Let's see. New love. Past life. Okay, so maybe you're going. Yeah, this could be you starting something up with an old person that you already have history with good history bad history not sure but um it definitely could be um that you guys have history also they could be if you believe in past life they could be a past life person a love um or in this life you guys have already had a life together you were married you had the kids the dog the, the home the cars um, someone that you um, have already had some significant uh, history with, lived with. Right, wow, union flipped out. Someone that you were either married to or there there will be a marriage here. Um, or you want to go back to someone that you were married to or in a family dynamic with that you lived with. You want, So you guys may be dating now. Maybe dating someone that you already are in a union with. Some of you are already married and you're dating someone from your past. Um, you have a newfound love for this person. But what is in between this or what the obstacle is, is that somebody's already married. Someone's already coupled. Okay. You've got a beauty queen coming out. Someone is um, living their best life. They're out here. They're shining. They're bright. They're getting a lot of attention. They're dressing up. They're in, engaged in fashion and beauty. And then we have the courting man. So um, you might want to go back to someone who you had a significant union with. It may be that you guys are going to try to date each other again. You see them as the beauty queen. You want to date this person actively, um, exclusively. I don't know if the exclusivity is mutual, but there's an air of somebody wanting the other person to be exclusive to them. You could also be dating someone you were married to. Someone could be married, going back to their past, dating someone from their past, high school, college. I don't know. Um, but the obstacle is marriage. They see this person as the beauty queen, living their life, could have connected on social media or some type of media to where this person sees this person um just living it up looking beautiful looking radiant looking like somebody who they want to have or they want to be a part of their life we have a businessman here someone about the town who um has a, a really good name in business really good reputation um, yeah, we have a lot of passion for, somebody has a lot of passion for the beauty queen. This is a person outside of the union. Interesting. Um, okay, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Right, we're dealing with the soldier. Somebody who is devoted to their business they're de they're devoted to their position as the soldier this is the love them and leave them this is the playboy it's not sticking around he will def 
defend his position of not sticking around, of not letting, you know, grass grow under his feet. He has it all mapped out in his head. He will intellectualize his position. He's willing to do battle over it. We have hope here. Somebody's hoping that something changes. Um, they're not doing anything in terms of making the change, but they're actually hoping, wishing, praying for the change. Constellation. Somebody is getting a little bit of something. They're not getting enough of. Hang on, guys. I need to go open my door. The front door. So yes, someone is only getting a little bit of. They're not getting enough. They're not getting fulfilled. It also could be because somebody is in the way of. They're in a way of actually having a real connection. Also, there's someone here who doesn't want that. So there's someone here who's holding out hope that somebody changes their position on, um, on a relationship, on a union here. Widower. Okay, okay, this is getting interesting now. Somebody could be dating two people, or they were dating two people. Somebody has left this connection here. Somebody was not serious about a connection. So someone, I don't know, it could be you, Sag, it could be the other person. Somebody left the connection because someone was not serious. Now this person is holding out hope that they can get some type of communication, type of um, action from this person. We have the sad, lonely man showing up. Not seeing the air of his ways, but definitely sad, lonely. Um, pining over lamenting, regretful over um, someone leaving a relationship or the connection. So we have someone sad over you or you sad over them, but not even seeing that they're the cause for the reason of you leaving. We got someone defensive about their position too, and they're willing to do battle about this. Faithfulness. It looks like you, Sag, or somebody involved in this will be rewarded because of their loyalty, their duty, their faithfulness overall in life. It, will, it You will have, um, this is a yes answer too. Somebody was, somebody's faithfulness was in question too. Um, somebody was not faithful. Someone is not faithful. Um, someone found that out and maybe they, they extracted themselves from this connection because we got the beauty queen outside of the connection here. Um, she may have been the one that left. This could be you, Sag. It could be the other person. I don't know. Somebody left here. And now we have this, this soldier here who is committed to his work, his position, whatever that position was. It was more so about him and, and no one else. Um, now we have him holding out hope trying to get just a little bit of information, love, affection, um, because he is now the sad, lonely man without this person because um, there was no faithfulness. His faithfulness was in question here. We also have the jealous woman here. The, the other woman, um, jealous, looking in on the situation. Green-eyed monster wants what she doesn't possess. She doesn't own.
we've got a boss type of man showing up here um with the lord too he has a lot of power he knows that he could be very attractive he could be tall statuesque he could dress very nice um He's got somebody who compliments his dynamic, but it looks like this person left him. Um, it left him to his own devices. And even if there are other people around us, I don't really see them showing up. Somebody wants a reconnection with someone they already had a relationship with. They could even want to marry this person or be in like a real relationship with them. But they're going to have to go through the, the dating and the courting phase again because this person already gets a lot of attention or it may even have a new love here. Let's see what the other deck has to say. Someone is also was holding out hope that somebody would change their position about, yeah, um, so there could be somebody who's already coupled. Like I said, I have a girlfriend, a boyfriend. I want you too. Somebody could already be coupled, already in a connection. And they want someone outside of this connection. They're willing to do whatever, give whatever, send whatever. I don't know. Um, they're holding out hope that they can get back with this person or back in their good graces. Somebody's faithfulness is in question. Somebody is asking the question, is this person faithful? The answer would be no. There's another woman here who is jealous of the other woman, the other woman's position here. Because this man is really focused on this woman and not this other woman. This is just too much. What's going on here in this too much stuff? Yeah, someone's saying, can I come over? It's like they, they, they're longing to meet with um, someone else who may have even left the connection or shut them out or shut them off. I'm going to ask you to move in with me. It's like somebody wants a real relationship now that the person has left. This is the homeowner, the boss, the teacher, the person who, you know, they have the power, they wear the pants in the connection. Somebody, okay, so... I don't know where you fit in, Sash. Get in where you fit in. You may have left a connection with a guy, okay? Or if you're a Sag man, your girl left you, and she left you to the streets, to, to the other women. She left you to your own devices. That's not good enough. You want more than that. You want your person back, okay? And this other woman or these other women know that you really desire this person who left and they're jealous the sex magic is what I perform on you so you get somebody trying to perform sex magic on you Sag or you're doing this in order to keep someone keep someone stuck or hooked let's see let's get two more cards Come out. Um, don't worry about fixing me, fix you is what someone is saying. Look, so somebody's not concerned about I'm gonna fix myself, I'm gonna be better. They just want what they've lost, they want it back. Games, lies, and manipulation is all I have to give. That could be you, Sag, it could be someone else in the connection. Someone, especially the person who left the connection, is saying, if you love me, show it. Um, let's get one chakra card to see what you should be focused on moving forward. What chakra card should Sash be focused on moving forward? Okay, the anxiety comes because of your insecurities, your root chakra. So Google root chakra, learn how to heal that, better cultivate, a, to better cultivate, um, to get a better root chakra. To cultivate a better root chakra. <laughs> so, so some of you are anxious and you're you're overworked and um or you you work yourself up because of your insecurities. Okay. 
um, whatever those insecurities are, face them head on. Because it's messing up what you're rooted and grounded to. It's almost as if you'll dig up roots anywhere or you won't even plant them. You won't have any, you won't allow yourself to be rooted anywhere because of your own insecurities. And these insecurities cause you great anxiety to where you can't even be settled, content at certain phases in life or with certain people, even if they mean you well. Okay. So let's get one or one tarot card to sum up the reading. One tarot card for the Sagittarius to sum up their reading. One card for Sag. Okay. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Definitely somebody wants to move in, wants to get engaged, wants to do something big in the connection here. Um, but there's a lot of insecurity here. There's somebody also doing some magic, whether they know it or they do know it, whether they don't know it or they do. Um, somebody's looking for the opportunity, um, the opportunity where they, that they don't have to chase, the opportunity to be presented to them to actually do something monumental, foundational, so that they can grow this person. Again, back to that root chakra. So this is the seed of productivity. Seed, root, something about growth, growth, uh, prosperity, abundance, being open, open to um, maybe all you have been planting are seeds and you just didn't, you forgot to water the grass. So there's no roots. I don't know, but something about you needing to. Your own anxiety stops you. Your own insecurity stops you. They stop you from maybe even starting a business for some of you. Um, they stop you from um, growing connections. It's like a halt to growth here. Alright, so, or whomever you're dealing with. If the reading resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own oracle reading just like this one, or you can get any other reading at the website level. You also can ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below, paying for your question, receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Um, if you feel like there is something you need to get rid of, insecurities, anxiety, fear, fear-based thoughts, people, places, things, take part in the full moon manifestation ritual. All of that information is below if you want to take part in that ritual so that you can release. You can use the full moon energies to help you release. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.